and welcome to your gold market event charts of the day. It's the 25th of October as we approach the midpoint of the Asian session. Mike Smith, senior analyst of gold markets, to lead you around what's happening today. Of course, overnight we saw US indices higher on renewed earnings optimism and a slightly calmer Middle East over the last 24 hours, at least for now. Uh, US futures are mixed in early trading. We did see two of the big boys in the tech space report last night. Microsoft were up in after hours trading, Google slightly down. It'll be interesting to see how they open tonight. Both be expectations, but Google's cloud performance isn't as the market hoped. Asian markets are generally following that positive lead from Wall Street, only cost me to the downside. The ASX is now near neutral. It gave up early gains after a warm CPI number, but has just moved positive again after dropping around about a half percent after that came out. The VIX pulled back from its highest level since May and European futures are pointing to a cautiously positive open. The US dollar index recovered and bounced off two week low overnight. And the Aussie dollar is strong this morning after that CPI number. Gold is holding beneath resistance at 1980 and copper has bounced off support. Oil fell again overnight, but is holding in Asia so far. One of the stories of the last few days has been Bitcoin. It continues to move higher with yet another move higher this morning. 35,000 looks important technically. Keep an eye on that level if you're interested in the Bitcoin CFD. Earnings obviously ramping up this week as developments in the Middle East being in focus. More big companies reporting today and tomorrow and further significant reports due next week. As I've already said, the Australian CPI was warmer than expected. Later on, we've got German business expectations some US housing data and the Bank of Canada rate decision being the highlights. Don't forget that probably the most important data point this week is the PCE data on Friday. That's the year on year number that the Fed likes as its preferred inflation measure. A couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, the Aussie yen is worth a look. This is the 30 minute chart. Uh, this is the impact of that CPI number uh, seeing a move through the R1 pivot up to. The R2 pivot around about 50 pips at its best. You can see it's just started to pull back a little bit, tracement of around 20% or so. So the next move from here will be interesting. If it can rebreach that 95.77 level, we could see it up in excess of 96 going forward. On the ASX, one of the high performers is Whitehaven Coin. You can see it is tackling an important level. It's trading around about 775 at the minute. If it closes here, it'll be the highest close. Really, since the beginning of the year, you can see there this candle back on the 17th of February was the last time it was here. We did have an intraday foray above it a few days ago, uh, but this looks more substantial and it is holding throughout the session. If we breach this, we could see it move up over time to around about this 850 level. And then we might see some pause. It's got a lot of price action around this level before. So that would be a first target on this stock. Trade safe and see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.